This is Paul with Maverick Diesel. Uh, we'll talk about what we got as far as an engine and everything. Uh, it's got a one-way built short block. Uh, it's sleeved, uh, six seven, with uh, waggler rods, girdle, um, all the stuff that one-way uses in that. We got a waggler dual pump cover, uh, extra G, 14 millimeter race pump with a stock pump um, on top. Uh, got fluid amper balancer. It's got a king speed cylinder head with their uh, side draft intake, BD intake elbow. We made all the custom intercooler piping. Uh, nitrous outlet nitrous system using their inner spooler. We got a stainless diesel S485, um, stainless diesel manifold with two Turbo Smart 45 millimeter waste gates, um, extra G billet rail, extra G 500% overs. Basically, everything that you should need to make close to 2,000 horsepower if we don't run out of air in the process. I think we're getting close. Um, we're cracking the gates open and it's still. <laughs> It's still trying to make way too much boost, so uh, we're going to probably have to jump up to a GT55 soon, but we're going to see how far we can push it. If we can go 520s or 530s on that turbo, I'd be pretty happy with it. So, But yeah, we, um, you know, we one way assembled the short block, and then we put the head on and you know, torqued everything down, assembled the rest of the engine, got it running. And it's pretty well the same setup as last year. Actually, it is the same setup as last year. Um, we're just going to lean on it this year. So, should run pretty good um, first weekend out I would say the truck is roughly 85% done and needs a few odds and ends tied up and we've been 540 um, I let off according to the log I, I was in the throttle till 4.99 seconds and we went 540 at 127 so um, I think it's got a 30 in it for the first weekend out I'm pretty happy with that um, we were supposed to race Derek yesterday in a grudge race and he had some transmission issues so we made a solo pass and won the SNS uh, Friday night grudge race. Got a cool WWE style belt, which was cool. Uh, nitrous outlet system, we've got uh, three stages. Two of them are on an inner spooler set up from nitrous outlet. And then the third one is just uh, going in the intercooler pipe. Um, the first two stages are ran off of a nitrous controller. Um, the spool is run off a wide open throttle switch and the third kit's on a button so I can grab it whenever I want. So we can pretty well you know, we can fine tune the entire setup, pick and choose when we want everything on and off, ramp it in, taper it out, however we need to. Yep. And then I, I do all the tuning uh, on the ECM, so um, dialing the fuel, timing, everything like that. And we've we've had it pretty dialed for the last two years. Um, now, like I said, it's just putting power in. So most of that's just putting fuel in that we didn't normally have in. And then, you know, we tune the nitrous system ourselves and figure out when everything needs to go in and, and so on, working on tuning, tuning waste gates in and everything, just trying to figure out what everything likes. So it's got a CMA 49 from an 0607 uh, truck, and then you know we we run it as a manual file because it doesn't see that it has a transmission in it, um, and then it's CSP5 tuning, um, and then on the trans brake we have a trans brake valve body in the uh, 47RH from Suncoast. Um, <clears throat> it has an option for a CSP switch, so when we're on the trans brake it has a limiter, and we can fine tune the limiter we want. So. Pretty much you just hit the trans brake and floor it, and then I can I can tune where the engine hits a limiter and stays and hangs out at for, for getting consistent 60 foots and figuring out what it wants more or less. Makes it pretty easy. Yeah, we have, um, so we just run the belt around the alternator to charge um, the battery. You know, we, we could run without an alternator, but I don't feel like messing with um, charging the battery all the time, because that's annoying. Um, and then on top of that, you literally can't just let it run because it's going to continue to keep killing the battery as it runs. So with this, it can just run and run and run until it, you know, until we feel like shutting it off. And then uh, we actually still have power steering. We've got an electric power steering pump that we put on it um, that we can trigger on when we want. So it's kind of nice. You shut the truck off, you still got power steering. Um, and then since we don't have power steering pump, we took the hydro boost off and everything. We got manual brakes, like we said. So yeah, it's pretty nice having a short belt like that, not having to deal with all the other crap. It makes it everything look a little cleaner too. So the engine, I think if you got a long block with, man, fuel and air. Yeah, what is it? Okay, so now I can do the rest of the math. So you'd probably have thirty-five to $38,000 in what we have there, roughly. That's just engine. That's air, fuel, cylinder head. Like, so long block with air and fuel, no piping or anything like that. That would just be like, make it start and run, sit on the ground. 
you know, it's it's a factory block, factory head. It's just all been machined, imported, and polished, and all that stuff. It's got sleeves in it and everything to make it strong. You say it was a six seven? Yeah, it's a six seven. Yep, it's still a true six seven bore, which is nice. It makes it spool easy and stuff like that. Usually, from the time we're on the floor to the time it's on the limiter is depending on how I do it is anywhere from two and a half to four seconds, which is plenty fast. You got seven seconds to get in from when there's three bulbs lit at the light. So, um, if you're faster than seven seconds, you're usually pretty good. Well, dude, that's cool. that's awesome. That's cool. Thanks, man. <laughs> We're getting there. Just an old ragged out second gen. That's okay. <laughs> Just some old haggard junk. Uh, I actually.